let's talk about how to manifest all the cool stuff you want without spending hours meditating and visualizing using the most powerful manifestation technique, water. I tested this water manifestation technique and it 100% works. I used it back when I had two kids under two years old and I was completely overwhelmed by them. I used it because I did not have hours to sit around and meditate and visualize all day. And what ended up happening was I self-published my book, One Truth, One Law, I Am, I Create, I sold 80,000 copies of it and I retired my husband. So I know how powerful this technique is and how much easier it is than most other manifestation techniques out there. The most underrated manifestation strategy is water. Manifesting with water is so quick and easy that even a beginner can do it with no problem at all. And so what tends to happen is most people that have been on a manifesting path for years just don't think that this could possibly be something that would make a huge impact for them. But if you've seen Dr. Emoto's experiments with water, you know that water changes shape to match our thoughts and emotions almost instantly. So if you think beautiful or loving thoughts, the water becomes this light, beautiful, sacred geometry shape. But if you think horrible thoughts, the water becomes this dark, blob shape. Our bodies are more than 70% water. When you drink water, your cells receive it and recode to match the energy of the water you just took in. If you're not consciously thinking thoughts into water, and instead you're holding your water thinking whatever your normal thoughts are, then that water is going to go into your cells in best case scenario and simply continue you on the path that you've been on. Worst case scenario, you're literally drinking the thoughts and emotions of the people who bottled it, the people who walked by it in the grocery store, or even worse, if you drink tap water, you are drinking the thoughts and emotions of all the people that have crapped in it. Listen, if tap water still contains all the traces of antibiotics and painkillers that people have peed into it, you can bet your bottom dollar that it has not been transformed into a beautiful snowflake and looks more like an ugly green blob. If you're just drinking water willy-nilly, it's very likely that manifestation is going to feel difficult for you and you're going to feel like you really have to force things and spend a lot of time every day visualizing, doing all different sorts of other more complicated techniques that take more time and energy. And this is because you're trying to change the shape of a water that's already in your body in the form of organs, blood, cells, hair, skin, all of it. Think of it this way. If you're trying to get to grandma's house, manifesting without the water technique I'm about to show you is like trying to push your car out of a muddy ditch on the side of the road so that you can get back on the road to drive to grandmother's house. While manifesting with the water technique is like sitting in the back of a limo, sipping champagne while your private driver speeds you along the road to grandmother's house. If you want to elevate your energy and manifestation power, spend one to two minutes after you pour a glass of water doing this technique I'm about to show you step by step. And here's a little bonus tip. You do not have to do this every single time you pour a glass of water throughout the day. Get yourself a glass water jug and pour in all the water that you're going to drink during the day. Spend two minutes doing it in the morning. The water is all encoded and ready to go and you can pour a new glass throughout the day. Drink in this water that you have already recoded without having to do it again and again. The first step in the water manifestation technique is to pick up your glass of water. And I highly recommend a glass, a crystal, um, even if it is stainless steel, like a stainless steel water bottle would be fine, um, or even a copper glass. What I would really recommend staying away from is any sort of plastic glass or container, or even a plastic water bottle. And that's because plastic just does not have the best sacred geometry. It's really sort of um, twisted and transformed. It's really a matrix material and it's not a high vibrational material. So highly, highly recommend 
getting a real glass or something else that's more of a natural material. Step number two in the water manifestation technique is to close your eyes. Step number three in the water manifestation technique is to set your intention. Your intention can be something simple like, I am consciously encoding this water with the energies to create this in my life. Then after you say this as your intention, you're going to jump right into step number four of the water manifestation technique. You're going to spend one minute imagining your dream life, whatever it is that you desire to manifest more money, bigger house, amazing car, loving partner, rocking body, whatever it is, spend one minute really tapping into that. Step number five of the water manifestation technique is to feel into the feelings and emotions that are created within your body when you have those manifestations. So if you wanted to manifest a rocking body, how does that feel in your body? Do you feel free? Do you feel sexy? Do you feel sensual? If you wanted to manifest piles of money, is that freedom? Is that excitement? Is that joy? Is that relief? Is that peace, right? If you want to manifest a stronger relationship with your partner, does that feel like just limitless love? running through you, whatever the feelings are, spend that minute really tapping into those. Step number six of the water manifestation technique is to thank your water, thank you water, and drink. The more that you use this water manifestation technique, the faster that it works. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this technique before or if you're going to try it now.